This video is a brief introduction to the auction house in Pirates of the Burning Sea. The auctioneer can be found either using the mini-map or just look for the guy with the pile of cash over his head. When you click on him, it opens up the conversation dialog and you would click enter auction house. At the top you have your various filters that you can set. For port we're going to pick Veracruz and for the category we're going to choose swords. And then we'll click on search and it shows us the swords that are available. Each of these columns can be sorted by clicking on the name at the top of the column and if you hover over an item it will tell you the stats and information on that item. Clicking it will bring up the bidding history. It shows you what, what was sold and the price that it was sold at. You also have 30-day averages, both locally, regionally, and globally. Only so let's say we want to make an offer on this sword. We Anyone? feel generous, even though it's 50 there. Let's give a price of 100. This way we ensure we get the sword. Don't recommend doing that, but we'll do it for the example. And what we'll do is we'll set pickup as our delivery type. This way it's right here for us. There's no mailbox. You don't have to run around to pick up the thing that you just bought at the auction house. There's also a spot where you can do partial orders if you're buying bulk, like resources. Now once you bid, if you take a look at the Retrieve tab, which is the third tab How over, do you want? if you've got the item, it'll be sitting right there. Again, hovering over that will show you the stats. Clicking on it gives you the information about the price that you paid for it and any type of fees. And then the delivery type. Okay, and for auctions, items that you have back, you can throw them away. But this thing we want to keep, we just paid money for it. So we click there, and now we have our item. The last tab is the sell tab. Let's say we want to sell this thing back. Open up our inventory. Step right up. Actually, drag the item over. Like these don't come around every day. And then we would put in our price. Now, if this was a stack of items, we'd also set the quantity. But this is just one sword. We're putting our price. After that, we click Create Listing. And there it is.